Hello, I made this new Arduino project in which I created this monitoring system for my computer by connecting wires directly to the motherboard. My goal over here was to monitor my computer without installing any software on the computer. And here I can monitor the hard disk activity, the fans and the temperature inside my computer. So now let's go back in time when I was building the project to see how I did it. So here is the project while it was still in development. Uh, I recorded these videos before I made the final setup so that you can see better how it works. So let's first talk about the uh, hard drive activity. So here we have some measure of uh, hard disk activity. Um, this is basically an equivalent of the disk activity in Windows like this. And this uh, blinking square here is uh, something that mimics exactly the behavior of the HDD LED, which you can see in red right here. So how does it work? So basically on the motherboard, you have two pins, which are normally connected to this kind of wire, which goes to the front panel uh, LED. So what I did is that I uh, uh, connected connected one of these two wires to the Arduino. So if actually we look at the signal, uh, first I disconnect the Arduino, it looks like this. So um, now if I remove, so, so we, we have here the two signals, LED plus and LED minus, which are the two pins on the motherboard connected to the LED. If I disconnect the actual LED, actually it looks like that. So we can see that in fact, one of the signals is just a, a plus five volts, not very interesting, is the LED plus signal. And actually the one that does the work is the LED minus as it goes from uh, a high value to a low value. So when it goes to a low value, it means that there is some activity. So basically when it goes, it goes low, uh, then there is enough voltage between the two pins so that the uh, LED uh, uh, lights up. So uh, as you can see, uh, the high value uh, is not really five volts. It's somewhere in between, it's around three volts in fact. So that's a bit annoying because it would make measurements a bit unreliable. So first, um, if we connect the Arduino, uh, it does not change the signal at all. So we still have this three volts high value, but uh, we can solve this by simply using a pull up resistor when we declare the pin like this. And in that case, the three volt value is going to go up to five volts. You are going to see it like this. You see now the high value is at five volts. So this is much better because we are going to have reliable measurements on uh, the Arduino like this. So you can see here the value going up and down. And actually you can see that even if it's just an LED, it goes up and down a lot actually, and it's very, very precise. So uh, if we look at a full second like this, uh, we can see that there are lots of variations like this. So when we look at the front panel, we don't suspect that uh, the signal is that precise because we just see an LED light up. So here we just think that it's just on, but in fact, it looks something like that. And we have a very precise signal, which allows us to uh, make very precise measurement about the percentage of activity by uh, computing the ratio of uh, how much it is high and how much it is low and averaging that over a full second. So let me now talk about the fan. So we have two kinds of information here. First, we have the percentage of uh, fan speed compared to the maximum speed. So basically this is a signal which is sent from the motherboard to the fan to tell it to work at this percentage. And then we have a feedback from the fan to tell the motherboard at which speed it is actually turning. So this is an, an actual uh, measure of the real speed. So first, uh, the percentage which is, which is an instruction from the motherboard is very simple. It's simply a PWM encoded signal. So it looks like that on the oscilloscope. So um, to get that, I uh, connected the four pins from the CPU fan connector on the motherboard, which goes here and then to the Arduino, and then it goes to the actual fan here, so that the proper, the original proper connections 
are made. So here, what I'm showing, what I'm going to show you on the oscilloscope is what is on this blue wire, which is the control wire. So as you can see, it's a PWM encoded signal. So here, basically, the uh, width of the five volt part here uh, represents how much uh, we want the fan to turn. So basically, here we get 40% because uh, the, 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 um, the length here is 40% of one full cycle. So if the computer wants the fan to turn faster, it's going to increase the part where it's up. So to measure that on the other it's very simple. There is actually a native instruction to measure that kind of signal. It's the part right here. So we use this pulse in function, which does uh, exactly what we want here. So uh, the first one measures the how long we are up and how long we are low. And uh, there is a special case in case we are uh, always low or always high, which would correspond to zero and 100%. So it's very simple to implement. Now, uh, implementing the sense part, which is the feedback from the fan to tell the computer at which speed it is turning, uh, is a bit trickier, but not too much. So if we look at the raw signal, it's something like that. And uh, the way the information is encoded is uh, in the frequency. So uh, here we have a frequency uh, of uh, 33 hertz, which, mean, which indicates uh, how much turns it does per second. Uh, actually, you have to divide it by two to get the number of turns per second. So uh, we can simply multiply the frequency to get the number of RPMs. So uh, this is uh, quite easy to implement. I implemented it with an interrupt in the Arduino. Uh, the only uh, difficulty here was that the, um, the, the signal was, did not go high enough to be considered a clear high for the Arduino. So basically, if we implement with an interrupt, this value right here is uh, not clearly an up value. We should be closer to five volts because here we have something like um, like uh, around three volts here. So what I did is very simple. I use a simple uh, NPN transistors, uh, NPN transistor and two resistors here to uh, implement an inverter uh, like this. And uh, so basically the value coming from the fan is right here. Here we connect this to five volts and there we get a signal which is proper for the Arduino. So I'm going to show you here on the oscilloscope. This is the output after we use the transistor. So here you can see that it's going clearly from zero to five volts. So now we have a clear high value here when we are at five volts. Uh, you can see that the signal is inverted. It doesn't matter at all since the only goal here is to measure the frequency. So by doing this, we get uh, a correct uh, measurement uh, why if we in, uh, measure directly this signal, we get uh, invalid values because this value here is sometimes interpreted as up and down and it generates uh, noise uh, which uh, results in a too high measured frequency which is incorrect. Now I've just finished uh, soldering the, the circuit. So actually it's the first time I make a permanent Arduino project with soldering. So, um, so that's not the best, uh, so that's probably not the best work ever. Uh, here I have put this capacitor just here, uh, very near the temperature sensor as recommended by the data sheet. And the rest is just uh, LCD screen and all the stuff. And you can see here, I have uh, added these connectors so that we can easily connect the motherboard. So here, uh, to provide the uh, power, I'm just going to use a USB cable connected and which goes back inside. But of course, I could do something smarter by connecting directly to the motherboard. So let's connect it. Uh, so then, uh, this cable, these wires, they go to the motherboard on the pin which you are supposed to connect the HDD LED. So. Since I want everything to continue to work normally in the computer, I have these two connectors and it, it's, they are just shorted with, between them so that we can continue to use the uh, regular feature of the computer. So I'm going to make some hard disk activity. So this seems to be working. So, uh, okay. 
So now let's connect the fan. So I've put some wires here with the corresponding colors so that I don't make a mistake when connecting them. And these are the wires that go to the motherboard. I have chosen the convention to use wire number one to be the ground. So this seems to be working. Number of RPMs should stabilize at around 1000. Well, depends on the computer activity. Well, since the fan was uh, not connected for a few minutes, then it probably has heated a, a little, so it's running faster to compensate for the heat. And we can see that the percentage is actually correct. So everything seems to be working. So now I just need to find a way to attach this properly to my computer.